put songs together. He currently has a song on my current CD that you have to get tonight. I don't want to carry them back home. Uh, his name is Kevin Peabody. We call him Maestro in America. He's an excellent musician, uh, a producer, a music producer, uh, a songwriter, and just a man of God uh, who loves God and who loves his people and who loves the gift of uh, the music ministry. So I'm going to call Kevin up to give us a little brief history on uh, spirituals, uh, black gospel songs, uh, where it came from, why it started, um, some of the famous composers of Amazing Grace and different songs that you've heard growing up. And Kevin's going to explain all of that to us. Is that okay? Yeah. Kevin Peabody, put your hands together. Let me say good evening to you and tell you what a delight it is being here to share this information with you. Usually I'm in the seat of uh, doing the MC and introducing you, but now you get the opportunity to introduce me. Why don't you give Miss Frieda Mitchell another round of applause? It's very interesting what can come out of a, a horrific experience. Uh, out of slavery came one of the greatest musics that one would ever imagine, and that is gospel music. Uh, gospel music is uh, good news in bad times. And the term gospel music was coined by a gentleman by the name of Thomas A. Dorsey. Not to be confused with the, the great band's leader, Thomas Dorsey. But in the 1930s, Thomas Dorsey moved from Costa Rica, Georgia, to Chicago, Illinois. And in Chicago, Illinois, he was a blues player. And when the music began, he was not very welcome in many churches because they said that the gospel music was too bluesy. But lo and behold, a lady by the name of Mahalia Jackson had the opportunity to sing some of his music and became a student of Thomas A. Dorsey. And by the 1940s, a big song by the name of Move On Up A Little Higher came into play that rocked the world. And ever since that day, gospel has been a legend. Some of Thomas Dorsey's greatest songs are Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. Y'all remember that? Oh, yeah. I thought that, uh, that sounds kind of old to somebody who's about 20 years old. But as time went by, Thomas Dorsey ushered in what they called the traditional period, which lasted from about the 1930s on until the 1950s. And by the 1950s, a new crop of singers were coming in. And that, that era is known as the golden era. One of the greatest gospel writers is also a gentleman by the name of James Cleveland. His big hit song you may have seen uh, back in the 1970s, 70s, he and Aretha Franklin recorded a gospel album that was recorded at the Cornerstone, Cornerstone Institutional Church in Los Angeles, California. And ever since that day, Dr. Cleveland has been a giant in music. His, probably his greatest accomplishment is to take younger singers and to spread the gospel by a convention which is called the Gospel Music Workshop of America. It is a great resource of gospel mus musicians from around the world. They come from everywhere. They come from the Caribbean. They come from Europe. And hopefully one day they will come from Australia. I've had the opportunity. Yeah, you can clap right there. It's all good. I've had the op opportunity to work with the Reverend G James Cleveland. And he was a giant. He passed in 1991. 
After James Cleveland comes a gentleman by the name of Edwin Hawkins from Oakland, California. He ushers in the contemporary period and his biggest hit today goes like this. Oh, happy day. Oh, you know that one, huh? Yes, yes. I've had the opportunity to work with uh, uh, Edwin Hawkins uh, and I'm not that old either. But he is a great songwriter. He goes all over the world. His greatest accomplishment is to change the chord structure and to uh, embody the music to a more contemporary flavor. He is responsible for many of the, the contemporary artists that you have today. Yolanda Adams, Kurt Franklin, who was just featured in the dance number, uh, Ty Tribute, uh, uh, and he is an exceptional man of God. But tonight, we have something to share with you that is even more exceptional. And it is your and our sharing of the gospel music with you. And they're going to sing from all the periods. They're going to sing from the traditional period, from the golden era period, and from the most contemporary period. Sharing with you. Why don't you put your hands together for this great choir of Australia, the gospel singers of Australia? Oh, you can do better than that. These are your. 